demonstrating our uh, knee arthroscopy setup and portal positioning. So we do knee arthroscopy in a supine position. We usually pay, uh, put a uh, side support on the at the level of the thigh. The tunique is almost at the level of the side support. And besides that, we are using this sort of a stand to uh, make our position. Now this stand has an advantage that has different levels. So we can adjust the flexion of the knee in this knee stand. So that you can adjust your extension and flexion while doing any of the surgeries. If you want to give sort of a velcro stress, you can use the side support or you can ask your assistant to help. And you can easily turn it around into a figure of four position as well. Besides that, we are using this sort of a drape which is useful for us for collection of the water so that there is no seepage. And we are using an impervious drape so that the water does not seep in and does not cause any sort of contamination. The OT, the camera setup usually lies on the top of the patient and usually we need to use a screen to cover the patient. Now as far as the knee is concerned, the knee arthroscopic anatomy is pretty simple. Uh, we usually mark the patella, we mark the patella tendon and the tibial tuberosity. And the standard portal is usually a lateral portal which is here and a medial portal which is here. Now the lateral and medial position positions can be varied about according to the pathology that you want to address. So mostly I usually make it about 3 to 4 millimeters medial to the patella tendon palpating the medial, uh, medial part. What you can do is you can press the inferior pole of the patella and this will actually make the both the uh, uh, soft spots prominent and you can make it there. Medial portal usually I will make it under vision using a spinal needle and that also we can adjust. So in particular patient it can be more medial, in a particular patient it can be more lateral. Now specific considerations, if you are doing a PCL reconstruction, you need to make your medial and lateral portals more closer and more higher. So the lateral portal should be more closer and more higher to the patella tendon. Same is when, when you are doing a uh, ACL, your, your portal should be very close to the patella tendon so that you can see the footprint of the ACL in a very nice way. The medial portal can be adjusted depending on the pathology. Uh, when I am doing an ACL surgery, I make a little larger portal so that it includes both the medial and the anterior medial compartments of the portal and usually I make it low so that I am able to get a good trajectory for the footprint. Usually in very very rare, consider uh, rare cases, I will make an accessory uh, anterior medial portal uh, here to make my uh, insertion for the footprint and drilling my femoral tunnel but usually in a single uh, portal I am able to adjust it. Now another portal that I make is a high anterior medial portal which is right here and this is my insertion portal for my extrusion repair anchors and centralizing stitches. So this is a very important portal if you want to put the stitches or put anchors on the anterior about 50% to 60% of the tibia you can put it from right here. This is called as a high anterior medial portal. Besides that, if you see the contour of the tibia, it is like this and you can make a posterior portal here and here. So normally if I am do, going to do a posterior compartment arthroscopy, I will pay, place two portals, one uh, posterior middle portal and one high posterior middle portal and usually these portals are made under vision in the posterior middle compartment. Uh, usually a knee arthroscopy is a very very safe surgery. You will not encounter any main vessels or nerves during a knee arthroscopy. Apart from making the posterior middle portal where occasionally you can have saphenous nerve. So just be careful when you are doing a posterior portal, you should just be careful of the cutaneous nerve and the saphenous nerve. Rest of the everything usually is usually is fine and it's, it's a safe thing to go around the knee. The other two portals I usually use is in cases of stiff knee, you can use a, a high anterior, anterior and high uh, anterior lateral and uh, anterior, uh, anterior medial and anterior lateral high portals. So these are supra patellar portals. So superior, uh, supra patellar medial and supra patellar lateral portals. You can use it if you are doing a uh, arthrolysis release. So you can go into the gutters and uh, you can work around there. This is also same portals. And this you can also make under vision with the spinal needle. Let's start the procedure of the arthroscopic portal.